Hi and welcome to Drupal 7 tutorial how to create your website uh, welcome to part 3 and in this part we will actually be creating a theme which is a big milestone in preparation of our website because we are going to go from standard and basic Drupal 7 uh, layout and we will get closer to this look Okay, so we are actually starting to do a new theme it's a big thing. Theming is uh, is something that every uh, everyone who actually works with Drupal will uh, meet sooner or later. So I think that uh, during watching this tutorial, you will have a good opportunity to maybe take a look and find something useful. So what do we do? How is how does it work? Uh, let's see. I am currently looking at uh, this is how uh, this is uh, our sh uh, Drupal the folder that it uh, is uh, located in and uh, if you want to create a theme you have to go to the sites all and themes okay this is the folder that will contain any themes that you will create or any themes that you want to put in there uh, that you have prepared by somebody else you put it here so uh, start uh, creating a new folder would be a good start so let's uh, let's call it something like this okay this will be our theme it will be located in the folder uh, YouTube Junkie theme 1 so it's a good start and what do we put in 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 our folder so like I mentioned before we will integrate the HTML design I prepared earlier I have it is it yeah so this we will uh, merge it with a theme we'll be creating so this design actually is uh, this is the HTML I'll open it because we will be taking a closer look at it later on uh, because we will introduce this HTML code into the Drupal template template files but these two folders they will not do any changes to them. The graphics folder contains only the graphic files for the design, and this include folder contains the cascade style sheets. Okay, so we will not be changing these. Let's copy. Uh, oh no. Okay, wrong button. Let's copy these two into our uh, theme folder. Okay. okay the files are there so what next a uh, very important thing is that uh, when you create a theme folder every theme has to have the info file in it right so let's uh, I have such info file prepared actually let's take it where is it it's here I will show you what this info file is. So, maybe not like this. Okay. Uh, the info file is uh, it's it's a basic file that the Drupal looks into. So, if you have a folder in theme in the themes uh, folder, so you have a folder with your theme, the first thing that Drupal looks at is this info file it has to has it has to have this exactly same name as the folder the your theme is right so these two have to have the same name well except for the info uh, file name uh, file extension okay so this uh, 
contains basic information so what for what Drupal core it is this is the first thing you should uh, you should be looking at because uh, you know you, you will not install this theme in Drupal 6 or Drupal 8 because of this line so this theme will be only in Drupal 7 which is actually perfectly logical because uh, you know as far as I know the uh, theming in Drupal 6 was quite a bit different than the, the theming in Drupal 7 so I can only assume that Drupal 8 will also be completely different this section here is uh, uh, represents the areas on your in your theme. So uh, we will I will explain you it to you later. But in short words, when you have a theme and you have a website that you are looking at, uh, the different areas uh, of this website are called blocks, and these are uh, and in this file you actually define that your your theme will have the following areas right so it will have first and the second sidebar it will have some footer it will have uh, special announce and announcements area and some other areas so uh, these areas will be actually visible later on I will show you uh, we uh, I am currently in admin mode uh, on our websites when you go to the structure and blocks these the header the highlighted featured are the areas of the uh, layout that of the theme that we are currently using and currently we are using Bartik so Bartik has the following the bolded ones are the areas and they are all specified in the in the info there is some yeah there is a good way to show you how it looks okay so the yellow areas are, are the uh, these are the areas specified in the info file I can actually show you let's look into the Drupal installation into the Bartik info okay uh, yeah so these reg re regions regions they will all uh, be these are all the regions that are actually visible uh, here on your website so you can put your content in the yellow areas here this these are all options you have okay so in case of our design we will have the fol following regions so this is the first thing our info file okay the second thing uh, that I want to put here is is the logo and the screenshot okay Uh, the logo and uh, the screenshot is actually the uh, the small image that you see when you are uh, in Drupal admin panel and we are choosing a theme while the logo is a logo file that will by default be displayed on the top of your theme let me show you when we have done these uh, few simple operations so we created a folder and we created a info file and we copied here those two graphic files actually the site should be visible right now so I there you go this is the screenshot PNG file right so this is this file and what happens to logo file I will show you in a minute let us uh, simply I will enable this uh, our new theme and set it as design and I will disable disable Bartik okay of course uh, our uh, our design is completely it has nothing it has no structure no nothing so actually 
it's uh, it's almost empty this is the logo okay and the different fonts and the uh, uh, colors are taken actually from the CSS file I have already copied it's uh, contained in in the INC folder and uh, the info file contained uh, contains the path to this uh, CSS so our theme actually already starts looking into into the CSS but so far it has mm, uh, its structure is absolutely not what we want okay so we will have to completely change it okay now how do we do this the theming uh, in Drupal 7 is based on template files what are the template files? The template files are simply the files that uh, override the default template. So this is the default template and we want to override and make it look different. Okay? So how do we do this? I am again in the Drupal 7.15 uh, installation and I will go into modules and I will go into system yeah there we go and they are there are a few files here that I want I want the HTML template and I want the page template and I think I will also want maintenance page template and I will go then to node and I will take node template what is this? yes there it is, sorry okay so how does it work? the HTML HTML template is uh, defines how let's open it, okay it simply defines the basic structure of your page you know the it uh, it defines the bounds of your page so mainly all, all it does it takes care of all uh, metadata in the heads section and then it, uh, it simply defines some uh, macro structure in 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 the body but it doesn't go into details right this is just let's say outer boundaries of your page this uh, uh, because this is a template file so it's actually uh, used by the Drupal system it works this way that uh, if I hadn't had this file in my theme folder then the system would actually use the file that normally lies in in, in Drupal core in system so the the system would use the default fo uh, file this file right but because i have this file in my theme folder then my file will override the file here right so i i, I took the file but i will change it and my changes uh, are what i want so uh, what else should you know about these files uh, here you have listed the variables that you have access to uh, this is uh, very useful quite often if you want to uh, play with some PHP and also you could uh, hook up to some methods uh, template in that case means that if you implement uh, such method it will be uh, fired at some exact point in time uh, so in that case I guess uh, this method would be fired before your uh, template is being processed but of course uh, the template is just the example name if you, you want to implement such method the template should be replaced by the name of your theme but uh, so far we will not be doing so okay so here we go we have HTML uh, template 
and it represents the outer boundaries right the page template page template uh, represents uh, it's it's exactly the same as with HTML template but it simply goes more into details right so it actually represents what's going on inside the body section of your page okay and automatically the node template uh, it it take uh, it takes care how the node part looks like so not even the page body but the uh, how every entry looks like so in case of what we want to achieve this would be this part would be a node this part uh, whole uh, the whole part in the page would be the page template and the HTML template will use only to define the metadata so keywords uh, links to the style sheets and so on okay so let's start implementing let's start with the HTML template there we go uh, I have already prepared the cascade style sheets so I know that I want my uh, body to have uh, to be of a specific class right so uh, the class in that case would be YouTube Junkie okay let's copy the files and see if uh, if this changed anything okay we will copy all those files oh okay one more time one more thing the maintenance the maintenance file is actually what will be displayed when you put your uh, site in the maintenance mode okay so let's copy the files and I'll show you in configuration mode you have a possibility to put your site in the maintenance mode okay let's put it uh, sorry let's put it in the maintenance mode so now you see something like this and this is actually the content of the maintenance template file so we want to customize this file and we will we will take the maintenance uh, because the maintenance template file is in our theme folder so automatically it will override the, ma the default maintenance template file so okay so let's start maybe with the uh, maintenance template file because then it will be visible how it actually works you have already seen what uh, how the default maintenance file uh, looked like this is the uh, okay this is the default maintenance file and I have actually the one uh, my file is much more sim is very simple it's very very simple uh, I simply want to replace all the body section with something that is really easy to understand okay it's just center div with one image okay and it will also uh, put there whatever we, we write in the maintenance page so let's see how it works okay let's go also one more thing if you change template files uh, sometimes things get cached so you will not actually see any change if you just replace the file so you need to clear all the caches right I'll add it to the to the taskbar because we will be doing it quite often so I will clear it and I will put the site into the maintenance mode one more time let's see if it works 
<coughs> it works great so I this is actually the our temp our our template our maintenance file overwritten the maintenance file in in the system core in the core of the Drupal uh, system so this is good let's g let's go further I will just remove it okay now you can see that something changed here okay and it changed because I have uh, changed the HTML template I simply added this class to the body and this cl this simply makes my page to uh, display the background but still the structure is absolutely not what I want okay so at this point we have to edit the page template right this at the first glance it's quite complicated and you would think that uh, it's again very similar to HTML here you have listed the list of things you actually have access to and it looks complicated but actually when you do a theme from the scratch you don't need any of this stuff because you just put in your theme what you want okay so let's take a look at our theme our theme was in here ah oh, it's actually it's in here okay no it's not in here okay okay I will simply open it sorry so this is the HTML uh, of our HD, uh, of our design and we want to implement it into uh, our theme so I will just take everything that is that is inside the body maybe except for the for this okay and I will put it and I will put it into the page and I'll put it here okay I'll just forget about all the rest there but from here I will take some stuff that I find useful that I want to have and I think I want this okay I want this uh, I want actually this let me remember yeah I want this part uh, I, and I put it to the content section of my own theme okay and also I want the messages part because this is the part that uh, uh, will list you any warnings or errors that you have on your page and also in my design I have some right column section so I want to copy the parts that are uh, responsible for side by first si side by first and side by bar second okay I put it right here and I forget about the rest I just delete it goodbye there you go mm, there you go okay and one more thing I want in the HTML uh, in in my design I had this links uh, uh, this metadata I want I want it there I want it there so uh, I want and I will put it into HTML TPL in the head section yes I put it right here okay uh, I don't think I need this one okay so okay one more thing if you want I think I had 
icon somewhere let's see yeah if you want an icon you just copy five icon into your theme folder right so I copy it let's see if it changes anything there you go we have an icon now just a few more things and I think we'll be quite good to go uh, because there is one tiny problem the all the contents all of this HTML is actually contained in your theme folder yes and my HTML design contains some um, re you know this file should be in relation to the folder but actually when I put it into my theme the system will not see it properly let me show you I was changing these two files I'll override them I will clear the cache alright let's see better much better but still as you can see uh, the graphic files are not visible right these uh, files are actually transparent GIFs which are uh, working as links but the system doesn't see them okay I, I have to change it how do I do so I have to open the page template these are actually files that are here so what, what, what do I do with them I have to do something like uh, this let me just show you I have to find it first I have to use the base path method and the directory name actually you can see here that the base path is the path of installation uh, of where the Drupal is installed while the directory is uh, the directory where our template is located in right so when we combine these two we have a perfect path to our files we have access to all the files from our template wherever we are okay so let's see how it works so I changed this file all right let's clear the cache all right it's not a bad start actually it's quite good uh, it's very good these of course do not work and uh, this this I have to get rid of because we will not be using it I will go to structure blocks and now here are the regions or areas or whatever you want to call them and these are have been defined in the info file so the info file the file that is named as the same as your theme these are these sections okay and I want to remove uh, things I don't need so I don't need system help uh, main page content I need okay uh, the search form I think I will leave navigation I don't need and user login I don't need we will not have actually users here except for admin footer I will leave okay let's see how it looks like it's perfect it's perfect one more thing in the page template I have there a place where I should put I should generate a region okay uh, let me and uh, what I need there is a uh, region for search bar and this is what I need this is it okay we are generating search bar region okay so let me put it there let's 
let me clear the cache and let's see okay it doesn't work uh, I have to check one more thing I have to okay it's not a sign signed uh, let's see where is it Oh, search form is not in the correct place. Search bar. Okay. Not still not work. Okay, I know. Look. Uh, one more thing. Some things are not visible to users that are not uh, permitted to do so. Right. So in that case, I have to go to people permissions, and I have actually check where what are the permissions for search there we go I have to activate search for the uh, for uh, anonymous users right so now it definitely should work there you go beautiful okay so these links are not working uh, also these links are not working because uh, they don't have the addresses assigned nothing works but it starts uh, it's it's almost almost looks as it should so basically we have the theme prepared and we will do some tiny tweaks to it uh, during later parts but uh, basically we have taken care of the uh, of how our page should look like now we have to take care of functionality and this is what we'll, we will be doing during next parts sorry guys that it took so long but uh, doing a theme is not that easy and uh, I actually didn't know how to make it uh, short, shorter okay so I hope you enjoyed it and see you around